Okay. So you've got a, a lot of flirting going on uh, at the moment and, uh, you know, it advises make some sort of r romantic gesture in order for you to move forward. Now, you're coming from a situation where, you know, things are not quite where you need them to be or want them to be. It's very unstable, the situation. You know, like, like I said here, it's just, you know, you're just flirting. You might be in the initial stages of a relationship. So things are really not quite set in stone yet. Um, you've got, uh, you know, you're looking for this true love kind of thing and you're looking for peace and harmony. And you've been doing that for the last a few months. You've been, that's your goal, that's your aim, that's what you want in your life. So you might have just uh, come through a divorce situation and, um, you know, and you, um, you're now looking for loyalty and devotion. And that is what you want from a relationship. After ending something, uh, you're looking for that. To come in for you so the you know the situation seems like you might have seen somebody you might be going around flirting with a lot of people um and because you're looking for this new relationship um where you have this loyalty and devotion um so you're in in the process of looking for somebody uh at the moment and you know it does advise make some sort of romantic gesture in order to attract the other person's attention Okay, so you've got the star card over here. It looks like you're trying to find, you know, you've got a lot of hope for the future. You're maybe uh, doing a lot of praying or, or asking for divine guidance. Um, you know, you have, um, maybe you've had an illness in the past that you've recovered from as well. So because you can see this little girl is in, or this lady in the background is recovering from an illness over here. And uh, maybe you've been meeting a lot of friends as well. And you're trying to find some sort of direction in your life. You're trying to find some sort of purpose for why you're here. And you might be, uh, you know, collaborating with a lot of people in the meantime, making a lot of friends. So you are with a group of people that you can speak to. You are communicating with a lot of people and you are trying to find that direction within your life right now. So what's happening with you? You've got uh, the Lady of Coins and you've got the Maiden of Quills. So both cards are showing that, you know, you're very independent with this uh, lady of coins, it's like the queen of pentacles. Uh, and you're also very focused on your work, um, you know, and um, very financially independent, very practically minded person. Uh, and, you know, you have been looking a lot at the past, because you can see her looking out this window at the past, at your life, and you've been reviewing it. Um, but right now you are very focused on your work and, you know, uh, maybe not a single person at the moment, not really um, in a relationship right now. And here again, this person is uh, with a cross by the maid of, maiden of coins, um, maiden of quills, sorry, uh, which is talking about, um, you know, you spending a lot of time on your work, concentrating and focusing on your work, maybe even not allowing people to come into your life because, you know, you can see she's almost ignoring this person that's there. Um, so um, even though people are trying to enter your life, you are sort of, um, you know, keeping them at arm's length and you are focused on your work a lot. So both cards, you know, whatever you're doing is very creative, very orientated where you're um, trying to express yourself a lot in your work and that is where your focus has been. But it mean, it also means that, you know, you've, you've spent a lot of time thinking about the past and reviewing the past, um, but you're very financially independent and, you know, you're bringing that creativity into your work as well. So in the past, you've got the Lord of Candlesticks. So you might have had uh, dealings with somebody who was very dynamic, a uh, very exciting person that you were with, uh, but, you know, um, a very in, very independent person as well. There might be somebody who did a lot of traveling. You can see there's a ship in the back over there. Uh, and, you know, they were very, um, uh, very dynamic. You might have had a, a sexual relationship with this person as opposed to a, a love relationship Um because candlestick signifies the uh, the wands cards. You can see the wands, uh, the stones. So this could have been something that was very sexual, uh, but somebody that you didn't um, form a long-term relationship with. And you've got the knight of candlesticks over here. This person, you know, you, you might have had that kind of relationship where you all were um, always on move. Uh, maybe you all did get along very well together. You all did a lot of things together, had a lot of excitement together. You see both of them on this cart, horse and cart, and moving forward. So, you know, they brought in a lot of um, movement, excitement, uh, rushing around. You can also see that uh, the six of candlesticks on your mind. So you, you all were very busy. Um, you know, maybe you all didn't 
it wasn't a relationship where you're settled down. It was a lot of movement, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, maybe you traveled a lot together, uh, but there was no time uh, where you've uh, been able to sit down and uh, become stable within this relationship. It seems to have been a lot of movement, a lot of travel, uh, you know, a lot of getting from place to place rather than actually sitting down and enjoying each other's company. Which can be difficult for an earth sign person because earth sign people like that stability and it doesn't seem like it's very stable. It seems like there's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, but no stability. So you've got the Hierophant card over here. So this could mean that you want that stable relationship. You want a commitment. You want a marriage. You want to be able to sit down and um, have that kind of commitment. And it doesn't seem like that has been offered to you uh, by both these cards, by the Knight of um a candle six and what's been on your mind is the six of candle six so there's been a lot of movement but not stability and you want that traditional um uh, relationship you want that commitment uh you want that to come in so you are looking for that kind of relationship so uh what's going on with you you've got the four of quills uh it has distressed you a lot you're very stressed out about what has happened you can see this girl uh looking really um you know a bit miserable not sleeping at night as well and pretty stressed out and pretty lonely as well uh you know she set aside her books so you know you have your work that you're doing but it's not enough for you and uh, maybe uh, thinking about this relationship has been keeping you up at night and you know you don't like being alone and you know you want this commitment to come in and you, you're you're stressing about it quite a bit you're worrying quite a bit about it now you and the other party have been having a lot of uh, communication with each other so you'll text each other you'll talk to each other you'll write letters to each other there's a lot of communication going on a bit of the long distance communication because these people are writing letters to each other so it seems like maybe the person that you're involved in has done does a lot of traveling you know they seem to be moving quite a lot uh, and you want to settle down it seems uh, but you are having a lot of communication with each other um, so whatever's happening, you're wondering whether or not you should actually end that relationship, uh, finish it off, because it is, it might, the worry might be making you uh, ill, might be making you sick, make, might be making you sad, and you do want, um, you know, you want to, you're thinking about actually ending that, you've got the death card in here, you want a change to come in, so you want the whole uh, rushing around and um, that to end, you want this commitment to come in, and it seems like you're going to bring that in because you've got the ten of candlesticks over here which is the end of a cycle and the ten um usually speaks about um you know burdensome situations so you've got a lot of worries and a lot of responsibilities and you know you it seems like you're still feeling very isolated very alone you're standing you know, out of the crowd not being involved in anything so you want uh, that to come to an end you want that that cycle to end you want this commitment to come in you want a stable relationship you want a traditional relationship to come in and you want that to come to uh, you want that cycle of being alone to end because even though you are in a relationship the person doesn't seem to be there most of the time and you want it to end with a death card and it seems like with the ten of can uh, candlesticks you're going to bring it to a close um, and, you know, it looks like you are going to end up, this is the Hermit card, this is your card, it is the card ruled by Virgo. So it looks like you're going to focus a lot more on your your work and whatever relationship you had with the Ten of Teacups. You want you wanted that family situation, uh, but whatever you, you've got going on here is not serving you, it's not making you happy at all. And it seems like you will you will end that cycle and maybe move away from it. Uh, you've got the rainbow, so you are going to recover from it, uh, but you've got um, two tens over here. So whatever situation you are in right now and that is stressing you out so much and making you so worried, looks like will end up coming to an end. Uh, and you will, um, you know, you, it looks like you're going to be focusing a lot more on your work um, and uh, on a lot more of your on yourself and your maybe your spiritual journey uh, maybe doing a lot more, um, you know, research work into what you want out of life, finding your purpose, because it seems like you're trying to find out who you are and you're trying to find your direction. And it looks like the relationship you are in right now is just too quick moving for you. It's not giving you the happiness and you want to, um, to end it. It looks like it's a very burdensome situation. So with the two tens here, it looks like the ten of teacups, the old, this old cycle will end the ten of candlesticks it looks like that will end and it looks like you will go and focus a lot more on yourself and your work 
So it seems like whatever you're in, whoever you're involved with, because it seems like this person might be the Lord of Candlesticks, it might be a fire sign person that you're dealing with. Uh, you are not really um, happy in it. You look pretty miserable um, and, you know, very stressed out. And you are trying to find your purpose in life or why you're here. So while you're communicating a lot with this person, it doesn't seem like they're in your arena very, very long or they don't seem to be very stable and you want that stability, especially with the Hierophant card. You do want that. This is card ruled by Taurus. And so you want that money and you want that stability and you want that family life and you're not getting it right now. So it looks like you're going to end the cycle and move on to something where you get what you want. Raphael usually rules healing. I mean, he's in charge of the healing aspects of life and you've got three cards from uh, Archangel Raphael, which says there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So it looks like, you know, um, the divine is telling you that it is time to move on. It is time to, for you to follow your spiritual quest and, you know, go for the things. Maybe you will end up joining some sort of spiritual group, some sort of spiritual organization with this Hierophant card where you get that fulfillment that you're looking for, especially since you're looking for it in the star card. It looks like with a Hierophant card, you're going to be joining some group, some organization where you get that fulfillment and you're going to leave behind all this um, instability. It seems rather in unstable. Um, so you've got the Six of Raphael, which says embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, childhood. So it looks like, um, you know, you are reviewing your past and it looks like new people are coming in for you uh, that will... Um, you know, bring you into their fold. So it looks like you will be meeting new people over here. You can see there's loads of people, loads of hats, new thinking coming along with this uh, Hierophant card as well. So a new perspective on life as well coming in for you. And the last card is the Ace of Raphael, which says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So it looks like whatever is coming in for you is going to bring you spiritual happiness as well with the Ace of Raphael. So if a new re this is signifies a new relationship coming in, a new phase, a new kind of cycle coming in emotionally, it's like the Ace of Cups. And, um, you know, it's going to bring you a more spiritual growth than what you have been. So you've been very unstable uh, what, with whatever's been going on. It might have been a very short term, or it might be a very, uh, you know, um, casual kind of relationship that is going on, but it looks like you want something deeper, a deeper meaning to life, and it looks like you're going to be uh, letting go of whatever's going on here and moving more towards that. And Archangel Raphael says, you are being guided on a spiritual quest. You will have to cross over that bridge to go on for something new, and there's something better waiting for you. So don't despair, even though it doesn't seem like there is a a particular relationship in this card spread right now it seems like you are going to be crossing that bridge over into something brand new and with Raphael coming in it means that it's going to be uh, something that's very very divinely guided and it's going to bring you a lot more happiness than what you've been going through right now and a lot more stability as well